Hello YouTube. Cyanogen developers released a Cyanogen OS update for the OnePlus One with the touch screen uh, fix and Bluetooth connectivity used with many in-car systems and also many MMS fixes. If you're looking through the settings about phone, you can find I'm using the second build of Cyanogen OS 12 which is S17L. The latest build is S2i3. If I go to system settings and check for the updates, I'm not getting any updates, but you can flash it manually. So for that, you need to download that latest build file. And I I will put a link in the description from where you can download that ROM file. Here you can see this is the build and build number is S2i3. So next restart your phone to recovery mode to go to recovery mode first I'm going to turn off my one plus one okay after that press volume down and power button at the same time press and hold them until this logo comes so leave them so here you can see it's loaded into the stock recovery this is Sanogen simple recovery you might see um, Maybe you might get another interface, whatever it is, the process is just the same. You need to use volume down key and select apply update and then press the power button to select that and then choose from internal storage press, and then you go to the zero directory. From here it will, here it will list all the internal storage files. So go and direct where you stored your update file that downloaded ROM file so I stored in ROM folder in ROM folder I stored it in COS 12 so here is the S213 file so I'll go and select that file so it will start installing that file now You don't need to worry about your data loss because this process won't affect your data so your data will be safe so the installation is completed after that just do a wipe cache option never do this wipe data for factory reset just do this wipe cache partition after that you can go back so it will restart the phone now so the Android is upgrading now remember that the first boot will take some time so please be patient so here you can see it's loaded if you go to the settings menu about phone you can find my current build is S2 i3 so the latest build is currently installed so this is how you can install if you are not rooted don't have any custom recovery like TW recovery you can use this method and there is no root method required and your data will be safe so if you are rooted and if you are using TWRP method there is a link in the description to show you how to install this build on that just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.